Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi again, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act 2. As you can see, Art Kirsch and I are with the fabulous Bill Jordan once again. Fabulous. Fabulous. Yes, you look, <laughs> you look marvelous, darling. Thank yeah. you. Thank you know, you know, Bill, good you get. Bill uh, we've actually discussed pieces of this stuff with the uh, holidays and stuff like that. But um, right around now, it'll probably be just a week or two past uh, when we show this, uh, that the fall equinox is going to occur, which is the, um, I guess, the official designation for the beginning of fall. Uh, uh, people call it other things, but uh, it, that's sort of like the day. It's, it's the equal amount of night and daytime, and then we're going to get darker and darker days. But uh, fall has some really special things about it. And um, uh, have you thought about that? And what's special about it to you? Yeah, well, first of all, I like the, the word autumn as opposed to fall. Autumn to me is a little more, I hesitate, I, the word lyrical comes to me, autumn. It just, I don't know. You know, there's a song, Autumn Leaves, yeah. you know. Uh, and quite honestly, at the age of 68, the word fall doesn't have a good reputation. <laughs> I don't mean I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. So I like, I like autumn. I like autumn. And uh, man, you know, just the air for me in North Carolina, uh, you guys are in Southern California. You don't probably deal. I don't know if you deal with much humidity at all, uh, but we have a lot of humidity here. So on those days when the dew point gets under 60 or whatever, and it's the air is dry and it's crisp and it hits the seventies and the sixties and then into the fifties, and we're like the daytime, you can run around in, you know, golf shirts or whatever. And nighttime, though, you need a pair of jeans and a sweatshirt or a light sweater. Man, that is that crispness is in the air. Football is back on TV or in person. The pumpkins go on sale. Uh, I just it's just a great time of year. It just, you know, I, it, you know, uh, Bill, I, I think you just touched on something. Uh, autumn. Uh, and which is a problem. The word autumn is a problem for me because I have trouble saying autumnal. Right. The autumnal season, equinox. You know. Anyway, <laughs> but you've you've touched on something I think is true, whether you're in Southern California or the East Coast, and that is the that fall or autumn is an emotional time. It, all the symbols that you're talking about, the, the football and the crisp air and whatever it is, whatever part of the country you're in, you do know, you do feel autumn coming. You do feel that transition. Sure. And it, yeah. those symbols are really an emotional, you, you, because you, you know the change is coming. You know winter is ahead. But it's like sure. also the turning, to, to me, um, uh, having uh, been raised in the Northeast, is was when the leaves would change color. And I know it's a silly thing that's not for most people, but even in California for the last 30, 40 years, almost every year I go out and I get one of those like broom like devices that smells like cinnamon. And I push it against, uh, you know, the side of the front door and just have that wonderful different aroma show up, uh, which to me is uh, fall, it's autumn. It's, it's that dramatic change yeah. from hot summers to cool, Nights getting ready for back right. back east winter, but the leaves sure. and smell of cinnamon and stuff like that. Yeah, the pumpkins and the Halloween and the you know the pumpkin pies, and then you got Thanksgiving, yep. which is my favorite holiday. That, that is still in autumn. It's not winter. Right. Uh, yeah, Thanksgiving. Yep. I, I just love it. And if I may, may I get a little heavy, a little philosophically heavy with you guys? Of course. Oh, and you can if you like. Well, you know, we, we each kind of look at our um, messages or our platforms a little differently. You guys are celebrating Act Two, the second half of our lives. I see my Embrace the Boom as hopefully I'm in the early part of the third act in a three-act play that is my life. But if you look at a year, seasonally and you know as the metaphor for our lives you've got spring which is 
being born yeah and you know, the buds coming out and things are starting to grow and then we're getting a little older and it's summertime and we're flourishing and we're really growing and fall comes yeah. and that's when we're maybe a little older the leaves start to change color and then of course then winter right people don't really talk about leaves until they turn color. And that's when they are their most impressive. And that's when they strike us the most in their beauty before they fall. So I use that as a little bit of a metaphor that maybe at this stage of my life, which again is hopefully the autumn, yeah. that maybe this is when I really should be this is when I should be doing some things that people can notice in a good way. Through my spring and my summer into my autumn and, you know, be a positive impact on people and have people go, wow, did you see that guy? He looks like a orange leaf. You know, I, I mean, you know, you get my point. I mean, it's just metaphorically speaking, autumn is the only time of year where we talk about leaves if we're not raking them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, so that's when their beauty, that's when the beauty hits. That's when they're just absolutely majestic. Yeah. Is we're in that third of the four seasons. And I just yeah. see that hopefully as a metaphor for for you and me. I love that. I love that. Very poetic, metaphorical, philosophical. And uh, yeah. I'm going to celebrate autumn. We all we should. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, even here in Southern California, um, I feel the change because the, I, I'm a big gardener, and uh, and I, I, we have a little orchard. And so, you see that the different trees are uh, either fruiting, citruses are coming in, mm -hmm. and the the stone fruits are the uh, the deciduous trees are dropping leaves, and I've got a whole slew of pumpkins mm. getting ready to be picked in my garden. Uh, you know, the, the peas and the beans are trying to hang on for the cool weather, but the pumpkins are blossoming everywhere. So I love, I love your analogy. It's a gorgeous time of year, man. It's a gorgeous yeah. time of year. And if you keep that in mind, we've talked many times before about our mindsets and how we think about things. And I know that there are people who, you know, complain and stuff. And we all do as we get a little older, things don't quite work like the way it, you know, I say, you know, you know, I get up in the morning and my right knee doesn't work. It worked fine when I went to bed. You start hurting yourself in your sleep, you know, you're getting older. But um, if you start looking at yourself, if you are in the autumn of your life, and that, that's when things really turn beautiful. And that's when people really notice and just bring a lot of, bring a lot of smiles to folks with that, with that pop of color, don't we? Mm. Yeah. Well, I think that no matter what season it is, we can all agree that because of Bill Jordan, we can all lift our cups and oh, embrace oh. the boom. And embrace the boom. And it's okay. a colorful boom. So happy autumn. Yep. Thanks, guys. Live your life. Forget your age. Embrace the boom. Always a treat to be with you guys. Thanks for having me. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.